Hello everyone, this is Tom. And Dawn. We're right now with Thomas Schmidt Homestead Projects. We are going to be changing our names to... Tom and Dawn Homestead Pork and Sawmill. Very soon. As soon as we get some new channel art, we'll get that name change done. But for now, just let you know what we're going to change it to. So be looking for it. And so, we're going to be milling some stuff today. Which may or may not be included in this video. We'll but see. We'll see what happens. All right. Thanks. Okay. Let's mill some wood today. Dawn's going to... Well, we're both going to get a cover off. Just on am different. Before you use your sawmill, make sure you check your oil and grease your wheel bearings for your uh, band wheels. Do it every time and do it while you're using it. You bought a good piece of equipment, take care of it. Tools out so that I can undo the uh, the locks, the travel locks, and get it greased up.
All right, let me uh, explain this. This is a Norwood Lumber Pro HD36. I bought an extra four foot track extension. I bought two extra bog bunks. I bought a extra log holder bracket set. We bought the uh, manual tow boards, roller tow boards for it. When you buy the extra extension, you have to buy an extra set of legs. I know a lot of people are going to say my axle is too far back, but I'm actually eventually going to add another four foot extension to this. Because right now it's capable of cutting 13, I mean 16, 6. And I need to be able to do 20. I also got the uh, 23 horsepower motor upgrade. Of course, the trailer package. Some parts are naturally missing, but like the tongue. If you've watched out my other videos, you see that I made that one for it. But uh, the town cut down, well, they didn't even cut them down, they just pushed them over. Last fall, a bunch of trees. We went over yesterday and got them. One was an oak tree, which is this log here. The log that she's straightening out all the sockets that she's filled over the back of the truck. The other log, then there's an ash log there that's pretty straight. A couple other ash logs over there. We're going to do some milling today. But I bought the extra log holder bracket so that I can move my log holders pretty much wherever I need them. I bought the extra bunks so that I didn't have to worry about log placement so much. I need to buy another one so that I have one here. Because that's a four foot spread. I don't like that. I want another one right in there. I uh, ordered the log loader kit. I got one piece of it. Didn't get the rest yet. I ordered the automatic log dogs. Didn't get those yet. But after I get all that stuff... I'll be able to uh, do a lot more milling. I'm not really capable of doing a lot by myself. I've had two major neck surgeries and I'll insert a picture of my next x-ray about here. So you can see why I have nerve damage in my neck. It causes me a lot of pain so I can't do a lot of stuff by myself. But uh, let's get some milling done today. We'll be back in a bit. It. Okay, this is why I got the extra bog holder bracket. You pull this pin out, you pull this up, pull it out, carry it over here, slide it into the next spot you want it, drop it in, pen in, put your clip in, and that's how easy it is to move your log stops. Now these have pins in them so that when you transport them they're up, they're not hanging from the hanging low on the ground. And they're very easy to uh, move around. Well, let me just leave that up for now because I'm going to need it up anyways. That's how simple all that is. And that's it for that. Now, if I Come over here and I'll show you my itty bitty little tractor. Alright, 
This is a 1982 Kubota B6100. It's coming up on 40 years old. As Almost you, as old as me. And I can tell you right now, do I wish I had a bigger one? Yes. Am I going to get one? Maybe someday, but this is a 12 inch by 13 inch by 8 foot oak log and this poor little tractor has all it can do to pick it up. That's why I bought the log loading system. I can get logs to the mill and I can bring the mill to the logs but this is about maxed out for this tractor. And uh, I love this little thing. It, uh, I actually traded a motorcycle for it. Well, the tractor's more practical. Oh, well, yeah, you know, I don't... For us. For us. But, yeah, it's a, it's a good little old girl. <laughs> end of the log, the center of the pith is at 7 inches, the other end at 11. So I'm going to raise this up and get it somewhat even. She ain't gonna go nowhere now. I'm using the uh, 1030 degree blade that came with the mill. 
not the optimal blade for oak. If it doesn't cut it, I got some uh, Woodmiser 747s inside that I'll use. Charlie, shut up! Back door. Looks like nice clear red oak. 
Okay, now that it's turned over, there's a couple things you got to remember to do. Number one is lower your tow board. But for right now, I'm going to raise the other one up and move the whole thing forward a little bit. And this is what's really good about these roller tow boards. Look how easy that rolls. And then just let them back down. Don't let that one down. You know how to use jack. Now, the little knob on the bottom. The little knob on the bottom. Oh. You gotta put the slotted end in it and unscrew it. Lefty righty, righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay, Dawn has a lot to learn about being a country girl. She was a former city girl. Yeah, well, this is the first time sawmill, though. It ain't the first time you ever used a jack, though. All right, we'll be back. <laughs> Alright, this is what we got from that log. It's 12 inch and a half by 3. We will stack and snicker, snicker it shortly. Just figured show us, show you guys what we did. Be back later.